All right, hello everyone. Lord Commander Guts here. We're gonna do all the game modes. So welcome to the last tutorial for game modes. I will not be doing uh, frontline or invasion as that's a little more complicated. Now. So the next video, if <laughs> if someone helps me with the frontline invasion stuff, yeah, I'll make sure to post a video of that. But for now, we're gonna do every other game mode. So now, I just took my map, the cave here, and it's all properly uh, placed in the right area. It's already created. Everything's right. The lighting's great. So now let's start with the most basic one. Now here uh, is the map itself. So we're not going to make any changes here. Uh, the only thing I would add here is if you, you want to add a horde or AI to be in this, you want to add nav mesh. You press P to turn it on or off. Um, if you haven't placed nav mesh before, this is what you're going to end up doing. So you won't have any of this on when you press P. So what you do is you go to nav. Type in nav here in the left. And then you can type in nav mesh to be more specific, but it's pretty much nav mesh volume, and I already have one in there, so that's why it's all green. Uh, and you'll get this green. Uh, there, there's certain areas where you don't want them to go, like see how they there's like a little top part of this. I can actually put a modifier volume, and that will actually get rid of that. You see there, it's a square. Now you, I, I think I turned it up. There it is. Okay, so so you can see it. There is the box, and this will kind of uh, destroy any navigation on that mesh, that area. Maybe you don't want them to go to a certain place. You place the modifier and you make it uh, scale it to a bigger size and now they won't go that direction. Right? You don't want them to climb this wall here. We just make it a little bigger. And now they won't. So now if you go up here, they won't be able to follow you. Uh, so kind of use this as, as necessary. I'm obviously not going to use that, but that's that's the first step. Once you get your navigation going, and this is under the under the impression that you've already finished your map, all you need to do is just kind of set the game modes. So all right, make sure you have your map ready for this, and then your navigation's right there. And now we can start on the game modes itself. We're going to start with deathmatch. Oops, that's going to be blank. We're going to do another one. We're going to do SKM the cave. And then we're going to do TDM, Team Deathmatch the cave. Cool. Let's make another one. Horde the cave. Alright, so these are your basic uh, game modes here that we're going to try and get this uh, figured out here. So if you guys have never done this, this is where we're going to go. So for the map, we're on the cave base map. You can just put on a more how game mode. It doesn't really matter, but at least this way you can test your map if you need to cha make any changes uh, before you go on to game modes. So now once we're here, save this. In fact, you probably save all. Save all. And we're going to go to deathmatch first. I'll do Horde last because it takes a little bit longer. Now, it, you see it's black. You got to make sure you take the map, that, the base map, drag it over to the levels. If you don't have levels, I'll show you really quickly. So now that it's in there, boom. Right click that, change streaming method to always loaded. And you're going to do this for every, every sub level. So if you don't have the levels here, just go to window and then you'll find it levels right here. And that's it. And then you just dock it wherever you prefer. This is just where I like to, to place it. Uh, and then once we're there, you can save again. Always make sure to save. And now we can make uh, team our deathmatch. So now all you really need for deathmatch is to pretty much just set the game mode, which is deathmatch. Boom, right there. And then from there, all you need is more how player. In this one you'll actually find in the content folder. More how player start. Okay, and we're just going to place it here. We're going to send section off. So this will be the arena for deathmatch. So you can fit up to like 10 people here, right? So wherever you are, make sure that you can kind of squeeze in. Now, I have, I've actually blocked this off and I actually have a block volume. I don't know if I show it. I guess not. It doesn't show. Um, so what you want to do is make sure that you have your player starts. And this will, if AI spawn, they'll use one of these. And so we're just going to do four. Four for right now. Now for, t for deathmatch itself, it doesn't really matter because no one's on the same team anyway, so you may as well just leave them all as zero. So just zero, zero, zero. Boom. So now that, that's it. That's all you need. Everyone's going to spawn in. It's going to be a free-for-all or a duel, however you like it. 
and then you save this. Boom. Cool, right? Now we go to the next part, the cave, and now we're going to do skirmish. Same thing, we start all over, cave levels, load, always load. And that's set. So once you got that, you can come over here and you notice that they're not, they're, they shouldn't actually be here. So my guess is they're actually in the level itself of the cave. So what you can do is you can cut and paste. You don't want to be using the same um, spawn. So here's, here's what we do. We're going to take this, this, and this. And we're actually going to click on persistent level down here. Make sure we're on the actual SKM level rather than the main base level. And we're going to actually right click this and change to level. Move selection to current level. Boom. So now it's on here and you won't see it on any other uh, game mode. So now we have to go through this again. Except this time now that these are placed, all we have to do is just make sure that there's two teams. And what you need to make sure is that these are actually uh, labeled to the right team. Um, once you go in here, I forget where it is, right here, team, right here, boom. So it'll be negative two by default. You want to change this to one or zero. Zero would be technically team one, and then one will be technically team two in game. Uh, so for now, yeah, we'll just put that one. Put this one as one. Put this one as zero, zero. And you want to fully distribute the amount of spawns evenly across teams. So like this, like you can probably fit up to maybe one, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three, four, five. So it'd be 10, 10 spawns in total and split of, of course from team zero to team one. And then that's all you really need. Game out will be the last thing to do. Skirmish, game out. Boom. Save this. Now we have to go back because uh, I didn't actually save it in the right level. Uh, the spawns that is. So we'll go back. And you see that there's not there's, the spawns are gone, right? So we just go back and place. I don't know if you can do it for the more time. Oops. Player start. Okay, we can. One. Two. Three. Four. Because it's a death match, it doesn't matter. Change the tag. You can actually leave that as as is, and save that. And now we go to team death match, which is pretty much the same as skirmish. Um, but first, we got to do this. All right, and then make sure we change stream methods. It's just always loaded. Perfect. And I'll just change this right off the bat. Team death match. Boom. And then we place the spawns wherever you want, see spawns. Uh, oh, you know, I had it right there. What was I doing? More how, layer, start. And we'll do four again, just to kind of show it. And this is this is also the same. We're gonna change this together. This will be team one. This will be team zero. So skirmish and deathmatch are pretty much the same to set up. Um, the only difference is the spawning, so that's nothing you have to worry about. Save this. Boom. That skirmish and team deathmatch. Pretty much the same. Uh, deathmatch, it doesn't matter at the beginning. That's the only difference is you don't have to set the teams. Uh, horde is a little different, though, so we're going to go into Horde now. So let's save the selected. And now we're going to actually load the cave into the level. Before we do anything else, change stream method. Always loaded. Switch this to a board. I'll start with the standard board one. Click Control S, save. And now I'm actually going to go back to where I originally left off. I think it was over here. So now I have nav mesh here, right? So I want to place some player start. So I'm going to have actually the player start over here. So let's turn off the navigation. And we'll have one here. Here and this one's not matter. You, they're like deathmatch. You don't really need to worry because you're all on the same team. Anyone who spawns in one of these is considered team human player. Random places. I don't mind. Make sure that they're not kind of sticking through the ground because otherwise you'll get that bad uh, bad size. 
there. We'll, we'll just move it up a little bit. Just move this up. Ooh. Way. Right here. Right here. That way I can get as many people to jump in as possible. As long as there's nav mesh and it's green, that means the AI can access that terrain. Here it'll be a little tricky because it's a little higher, but that's okay. And it goes all the way over there. So now you want to get horde bots. Now they're a completely different start. You go back over here, horde uh, spawn. They're not starts, they're spawns. So we go over here where I'm going to place them. And this is going to be a little different now because they are actually a square, which is nice. Nice to know that they're squared, but actually that's, I think that's too close. Here we go, now that we hit a pretty decent size here. So I'll hit there, lift it up a little bit. There's plenty of places for them to spawn, so they should not be getting stuck. Cool, and I think that should be it. Ooh, but there's no nav mesh right here, so I'm gonna take that nav mesh over there. Go on over here. That way it's doing it right. There we go. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Works. Perfect. Uh, that works. Don't worry about these lines. It just means that there's kind of a weird, ragged terrain here that it's trying to work around. And sometimes collisions of the meshes around them. So if you want to double check that, go ahead and check, uh, look at player collision. This is pretty much what a bot or a player can be able to walk through. Won't be able to walk through these meshes. Cool. Now that we got that, we can go back to a different perspective to unlit. Taking care of that. So what's next? So now that your horde spawns are, are placed and the navigation's there, you have your players, uh, you're gonna need two more things. One of them being purchasables. You need weapons for your your players to, to buy. So as wrong content folder, you want to go to the more now. And then we go here. And all you have to type in is purchase, and that's it. And then you'll pretty much get everything you need. And then you can find different places to place them. Let me slow this down because that's way too fast. And then from there, you just start placing them down. I'm just going to place them down to kind of just get them in there. And I'm going to start skipping some of these because there's too many and I want to kind of get on with this. Most important one is clothing. Here's the clothing. Tier 1, Tier 2, or sorry, Tier 1, legs, arms, and uh, chest. And I'll put Tier 3 somewhere. I'll put it in this building right here. Let's put it right here. Tier 3. Purchasables, and you can change the prices of all this in the detail tabs. Perfect. And then I'll add toolbox because we need those pretty bad. Toolbox ammo. And I'll add, actually add two of those because you want you want to have toolboxes everywhere, if possible. I'll add it right here. And ammo. Boom. So now you can build your own barricades and whatnot. Uh, and that's it. I mean, from there, now you need the noble, because this is no longer the old horde. Now you need a noble to protect. So how do you add him? He's actually very easy to find. I just type in noble. I believe it's noble. Oh no, it's actually called kill objective. Objective. Kill. Oops. Kill. Objective. It is. Okay. Or kill objective. That's so. That's the name. Uh, what you do. So when you place him in, this is where he's going to start. 
this is their actor, and then he's going to move to certain points. The points, so that, because if you don't put the points, he's just going to stand still. So let's put points. I believe it is using frontline points. I should type in points. Or point. No, 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 frontline patrol, patrol point. There we go. It's using the frontline patrol point. So find that, and then I'll add this. That's one, and then you're gonna pretty much put these wherever you want them to walk. So I'll probably have them go do a circle here around this little base. So now they're all numbered. We go back to this. And now we're gonna give them some points to patrol. Now let's see, where can we find that? that sh 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 there we go, right here, under default. Patrol points. So his home point, it's gonna be this one right here. That'll be his home point. And then he'll have patrols and all this. So he's gonna go straight to his first one. I like to put it, his home point as the first one. And the second one, boom. Third, and you're just clicking that little droplet thingy to select it. Boom. Boom. And then we go back down to the last empty one. Oh, there wasn't an empty one. This one will be separate. Boom. And then from here, he's just going to go back to the first point. And that's it. I'm going to save that. And that's pretty much all you need. Purchasables, your noble, your nav mesh, player spawns, and enemy spawns. That's it. If you want to get custom NPCs, I'll make another video on that. That one actually will be a little easier now that I actually have it and know how to use it. So in the next video, I'll try and show you how to add friendly NPCs that you can buy. Purchasable NPCs. Uh, anywho, uh, this has been a fun tutorial. Very simple. All you need to do now is bake it. Um, you go here and you package it so everything's all pretty much made. You click that. You select the cave. There is a bug going around. Not Thermopylae. The cave. So if you have that visual bug, uh, let's say your, NVIDIA, your graphics card, you have to reset it. I know NVIDIA is getting it. I don't know if AMD is getting it, but I know NVIDIA is. Uh, and then once you do that, Windows client package, it'll cook. And then you do Windows server package that, and then it'll cook that, and then you do Linux. Now you can, it does tick both, but it only cooks one, so it will only cook Windows. So make sure you're doing it individually. I know it's a pain in the butt right now, but maybe in sometime in the future they'll have an all three option you know, to be able to package all three. So keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, this is how you set up your basic uh, game modes uh, for Mordhau. All right, well, I'm ending the video now. So hopefully uh, this has been uh, very instructive and educational for you. Uh, if you guys have any further questions, leave any comments down below, and I'll try and get back to them as soon as possible. Please uh, make sure to subscribe and like it. All right, guys, well, this is Lord Commander Guts signing off, a.k.a. Mike G. See you guys.